Hey everybody, welcome in. Appreciate everybody being here. Today we have James from the uh, Rugged History Beard Co. So let's bring him in and welcome him in. So how you doing, James? What's going on? <laughs> well, I know, I know, I know you've been out there hustling. So it's good to have a day at home. And this, yeah, well, let's real quick. Let's see. Who's in the chat so far? Because I know people come in and out throughout the whole stream. So we got E, welcome E, Ellie, Joshua, Travis, huh? Huh. Well, good. You don't you don't want sound on that because <laughs> that's all right. Um, let's see. Garcia reviews. What's going on? Hey, been a while. Vado, yeah. And while we got Vado up there. Please remember to hit that like button and do what Bearded Vato says. What is going on, everyone? This is your boy, Bearded Vato, reminding you to smash that like button if you haven't already. And Michael, what's going on? Let's see. Let's see who else. Uh, Nicholas, what's going on? How's it going? Let's see. And I guess about it so far. So appreciate y'all being here. Like I said, hit that like button. Hit, hit that share button. Hit that copy button at least to go that far, would you? So some support. And I appreciate everybody being here. And yes, and uh, Beard Vado, I don't know, I, I didn't show up on the comment when I posted on the, on the stream here, but Beard Vado put the, the link to Rugged History Beard Co. in the uh, chat. Of course, as always, I will, let me go ahead and pin that too. Of course, as always, in my video, it will be in the description as well for y'all to find. So, and as you see up here above us, you know, um, you know, it's code, it's code BGD10 to save yourself 10%. So let's go ahead and uh, ask James a few questions. Hey, of course, if y'all have any questions, just put them in the chat and put a Q in front so I can decipher that. Oh, you can't hear James. Mm -hmm. On my end, it says you were working. I can hear you. But they can't hear you, then that <laughs> James has no sound. Huh. Hold on. Let me see see something here. Let me go to my advanced properties. Oh, here we go. Ah. I think I got the issue. All right, say something, James. How about now? All right, did y'all hear that? Let me know real quick. Did y'all hear him say that? How about now? Can you hear me? Okay, cool. Good now. All right, good. <laughs> some some reason I went I went to my advanced audio settings here in OBS and it had uh, the uh, outgoing uh, for you uh, muted. So <laughs> I just had to change that real quick. So you know these things happen. If if, if something doesn't mess up one of my lives, it's not a, it's not a lie for me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, actually, I, oh, I yeah. So remember, if you have a question for James, put it in the chat, put put a cue in front, so I can decipher a lot easier. And uh, I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask a question, uh, so people in the chat know that why why the rugged history, what how did you come up with that name? Honestly, the name I I almost majored in history in college is kind of a thing I do. So it's uh, what I chose with that, and the rugged was just kind of to go with it. I don't know. I was thinking kind of uh, when I first started, I was going to do like day in history and stuff like that on the Facebook and Instagram, which I'm still working on. And then, yeah, it was just kind of an adverb to go with it. It worked out good. Cool. And I do got your your website up here. Over here, we'll go to that website here in a little bit. Talk about what you got going. Uh, actually, matter of fact, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to your website and talk a little bit about stuff that you have on your website here all right so here is this website and i know our pictures may be covering up some of this stuff here but he's got uh beard oil butter bomb shampoo and conditioner cologne soap body wash lotions goat milk shave soap shave brush and a 50 caliber razor which is pretty cool i saw that at the uh the little market i was at that you were sitting yeah at. I partnered with uh, another business here. It's a Leo owned company and DFW that makes those. So 
I'm selling them for them and they're selling some of my shave soaps and soaps for me. Yeah. That's so pretty, yeah, that's pretty cool. You know, trade off. So you kind of help yeah. each other out. And Joshua was asking me if I'm drinking coffee. No, Joshua, you know, I don't like drink coffee and that's what I have to say. About ah. that. All right. Hey, Hip Wizard, what's going on? Uh, Barbu, what's going on? And yeah, so pretty cool. Thank, thank you for coming in guys. Yeah. So, uh, let's talk about your oil or oil real quick the one thing i do like on his page here if y'all see if you just click on the oil and scroll down he has a list of all the scents right there for y'all to look at so i appreciate that it's really all in one place you can just go through and see what you want and click on what you want and one really cool thing that he has is, is a bacon <laughs> i put that on there as a joke but it, it's you know i'd still offer it right well, some of it is, it's, a, it's kind of more like a novelty type scent, you yeah. know, so pe people just have it just, just to have it, you know. <laughs> so let's talk about ingredients real quick. So ingredients are the hemp seed oil, avocado oil, jojoba oil, almond oil, argan oil, sunflower oil, tam tamanu oil, pumpkin seed oil, and rose hip, and of course the fragrances for the scent. And you use unrefined, right? Yeah. Yeah, so all of his his products are basically that yeah. way it hasn't been chemically processed or bleached. It's just cold pressed and ready to go. That's it. Right, right. And oh, as he said, before I went to the oils, his other oils are the fifteen dollars and ninety nine cents for the one ounce oil. And you have now we go to the website, pick your scent under the type. You have to pick the legend, the original, legendary, or they got seasonal. And for the beard butters, two ounces for again, fifteen ninety nine. Same thing, and the green says for it are hemp seed butter, avocado butter, shea butter, cucumber butter, beeswax, hemp seed oil, avocado oil, jojoba oil, almond oil, argan oil, sunflower oil, tamanu oil, and pumpkin seed oil, and roasted oil and fragrance for the scent. So it's basically just my beard oil blend put in there. Ah, uh, and E, he has a question. Does James drink coffee? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Only if it's heavily sugared. Ah, uh -huh. hey, beard dragon Marvin, what's going on? Welcome, welcome in. Richard Crush, welcome in. Appreciate y'all being here. And that's going to go to just the, the oil, butter, and bomb ingredients. But we go to the bomb. Again, it's... Hold on. Your what? And your bomb is what? Two ounces or, or, or... Right? It's all... Yeah, two ounces. Yeah. I try to keep everything where people... I sell it a lot of tourist markets. So I try to keep it where they can take it on the plane with no issues and a carry-on. Right. And the Bomb ingredients are beeswax, shea butter, mango butter, hobo oil, sweet almond oil, and the fragrances. So overall, I mean, I don't know if y'all seen my seen my reviews for Rugged History in the past, um, but I did link those in the description below if you have not seen those. I mean, I really like his products. I think they're really great. Great film beard. I think that uh, unrefined actually, you know, I'll give you more benefits. There's more uh, nutrients into it because I guess when it gets refined, some of those nutrients get taken out if I bleed, right? Yeah, that's what the chemical process does. That's why yeah. I don't use those. Right. But they stay health. You know, they don't go rancid as quick when they're refined, so it's a trade-off. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I definitely got... Because when I was at the market there, I got uh, a couple of cents and the beard conditioner... Now the beard conditioner is pretty cool. He's got he's got pump tops. Now when I first when he first came out, he did have just a little spout thing, and so he switched over to pump tops, make it a lot easier to get out. So that's definitely cool. But I don't know if you've seen my review for his beard conditioner. I I stated my my uh, review that you know a lot of a lot of conditioners I tried don't really work too good in my beard, and his is one of the few that actually work good in my beard. So. Definitely, definitely a good conditioner. Of course, I, I've used, I use it in my head hair too all the time too. So, when I was just use it, actually, I just used the last uh, for my head hair uh, when I took a shower earlier today. So, <laughs> I'm glad I got this. So, 
Oh man. And uh, uh -oh. Marvin says, "I want to see. I want. Some, I want. To, I see some nice scents. I want to check out. Yeah, Marvin, check it out. Pretty cool. There's most likely a cat about to jump on my chest. One second. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Yeah, I got. I got three cats over my head <laughs> over here myself. Uh, he says, "Can you refresh my memory on the old viscosity and hold of the bomb? I don't. I can't really. I don't remember about the bomb." I the bomb's a light hold. I use about, um, it's not light, it's about light medium. It's not super heavy. Um, I use like probably about 50% beeswax and then shea butter, mango butter, and then my oils to kind of thin it out a little bit. So it's not going to be like a glue. Right. What about, your, what do you consider your oil? I think it's more of a, I think it's kind of like a medium thick. Oil, yeah. Well, it's, medium. yeah. it's a medium. It's not. It's not super heavy. I leave out all the heavy oils, but I added a little um, the avocado oil to add some weight to it. So overall, good feeling beard though, for sure. And it absorbs fairly quick. That was kind of my. That's what I wanted. Martin says he's a big fan of smoky scents, but that bonfire is right up his alley. Yeah, I got the. Uh... I, th I think I like the I like the cribbing ties. I got the rustler, uh, sandalwood tobacco was a, was a really good one. I got there. Yeah, I'm working on a smoky jasmine scent next. It's going to be a little bit of smoke, leather, and jasmine, but it's not going to be out for a little while. It's not finished yet. Interesting. And that lemon and mint was good too. I'm gonna do a video on those scents here in a little bit, a little bit later. Of course, I had the, of course, I told you I had the bacon, I got cedar and amber, the coconut lime I had, the bay rum, all pretty good. Now, oh, Chris Perez, what's going on? Appreciate you stopping by. Now, the bacon to me, I know it's a kind of novelty thing, but the bacon to me is it kind of smells like a, it's like a really cooked crispy bacon type scent to me. <laughs> yeah, it's. It's got the clove in it to give it that fried feeling. Yeah. Definitely had that fried feeling to it. For sure. Now this, yeah, I don't know I don't know if you want to talk about what you what we talked about there, the thing about what you got coming up or anything like that, where you're gonna be. You wanna... Oh, um well, starting in April I'll be at Burleson Farmers Market every weekend. Um I'll have somebody out at Grapevine, somebody out at Deep Ellum, and um, I'll be at Scarborough Fair every weekend until the end of May. And Scarborough and then, Fair is a big, big, big deal around here. So just let y'all know, yeah, it's, it's, it's a pretty, pretty big, uh, pretty big fair. So. And then I'm going to um, Thunder in the Hill Country Motorcycle Rally at the end of March, and then I should be at Lone Star Motorcycle Rally in October, and then Rot Rally in Chill. Early June, late June, I think. Oh yeah, especially the motorcycle places. There, yeah. there gonna be gonna be a lot of bearded fillers there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I may be going up to Sturgis if I can. I'm super excited about that one. Yeah, Sturgis. If you get to Sturgis, that that would be awesome. And hey, Angry Eleven, I don't think I see you here before, but hey, welcome in. Appreciate it. And uh, Marvin says, bacon with a chocolate would be nice combination because if you haven't tried chocolate curd bacon, you're missing out. That's actually not a bad idea. Yeah. That might, I mean, somebody looking for a bacon scent, that, they might go for that for sure. Yeah. But then you got different kinds of chocolates. You got, well, it's got a regular chocolate or a Mexican chocolate or, I think this is where the milk chocolate might do good for that. Oh, yeah. Mark, hello, welcome in. Appreciate you coming in. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So yeah. Um, so how how long have you been in business? Oh God, we started before COVID started. I thought COVID was going to end it because all the farmers markets were shutting down. <laughs> but um, luckily, Dallas stayed open, so that kind of got us through. But uh, honestly, it's been about like what three years now? Four years? Somewhere on there? Yeah. Cause I think, I mean, I don't know how long. I'm trying to think about it in my review was, I can't remember if I was like one of the first that did actually a review on YouTube or not. But 
Anyway, but that nice. your yeah your first review is when I was still using them uh, my original bottles that I'd been using for about a year then. It was yeah. just one blank label, yeah. Yeah, where I still got I still got that. It's got the got the uh, little sticker on there. That's the uh, yeah thing that thing. That's it. Yeah, but a little upgrade. Got really cool bottles with the actual sit on the the label and pump tops. You going to pump tops now, right? I'm trying to move everything to pump tops now. It's a slow process, but it's all moving that way. I mean, I guess, I mean, I, I still prefer, I mean, I don't mind. I've used all, you know, droppers, pumps, the, the um, restrictors. Now, I still prefer dropper myself, but just because, especially when I had a even bigger beard, it's just, because my skin, my chin is like super dry, and I just like to put more oil on it. It's a lot easier to do that way, but... <laughs> Yeah, I just I I don't ever advise people to put the dropper in when I tell them just because it puts all the dead skin cells on your face back into your oil. So I think the pump helps that out. Yeah, just a pump, good to go. Chris Press says those legendary scents sound really good. Yeah, a lot of people in here like like some of the scents you got there. So yeah, guys, give it give it a try. I think I no, I'm not gonna say think. I know you're you'll like it. So. And uh, Mark says, I like to drop top because I can dial them out better. He says, pump tops, I only have one. Droppers and restrictors are most my most used. Yeah. Okay. Well, guys, um, so what's the, you got any more big plans on the website? I, mean, I know you, those scents that I just talked about, the uh, sandalwood and tobacco, lemon and mint were newer scents, but I, I don't. I didn't really look on the website to see if you had them up on the website yet. Or... Yeah, those are on there now. Um, I've got to go through the website and alphabetize everything because I use Shopify as a website host, and what I can do with them is limited, to say the least. Yeah. So, yeah, next year we should be getting a full-blown-out warehouse. I'm going to have, like, a walk-in area for customers and the office set up. So that'll be something to look forward to. Be cool. Definitely. And um, then, then I'm about to launch. Um, they've got a cure, but about six weeks or so, maybe four weeks now, I should have some goat's milk soap. Everybody's been asking for it. So I'll definitely, definitely have to get some of that too. Goat's milk seems to be a pretty good thing. Yeah, everybody's been asking me for it. So might as well just, I made about three different scents of it. So I'm going to put it out. And the cologne. Oh, let's go back to let's go back to the website real quick and show you these colognes. All right, so here are his colognes. They are one ounce, twenty bucks. So, and the Zephyrus. I think I had. I think the the sample the sample ones you sent me were Zephyrus. Um, I, I think I sent you Caribbean Tides. Yeah, I can't remember. Four, four little tiny sample things. Yeah. But I like them all. I mean, they're all good. So I think all these, a lot of these ones on here that I smelled, that I have smelled, uh, definitely, uh, I guess I guess they smell just like the uh, the beer oil, right? Yeah, they smell the same. Um, the colognes are a bit more potent because they're not right by your face, so they do kind of leave a trail, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Some people are going on about this chocolate. About they don't know if they like to smell chocolate or. Of course, I'm gonna uh, put out a. I'm gonna put out a chocolate scent just to see. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't hurt to try out. So, of course, the uh, E he he's not he's not full a food scent. Just like I'm not really a coffee scent. <laughs> I think I told you that yesterday. So I'm not I'm not really into coffee. Oh yeah, <laughs> when you tried out the the Calico Jack's Revenge, yeah. Yeah, so I can I, just, I can kind of smell that in there. <laughs> well, actually, actually, I had got you know a while back I had got like four different coffee scents, and two were actually not that bad because I couldn't really smell the coffee that much. So, as long as, as long as I can't really smell that much, I think I'd be all right. But, but yeah, for sure. 
All right, how about let's take a break and do some would you rather questions? Let's have some fun, y'all. Anybody want to have some fun with some would you rather questions? Are you up for that, Mark? I mean, uh, Mark. <laughs> Are you up for that, James? Why not? Have a little fun. Oh, let's see. Oh, he's saying, Mark, I can do citrus. I heard I had a beard oil for a cinnamon toast crunch and had to wash it out. It made me hungry. <laughs> yeah, I can understand. I've got a that. lot of citrus ones, but yeah. Yeah, 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 you have some few citrus ones. So if you like citrus, yeah, check those out. All right, so where is my wood? All right, here we go. The first wood, remember the chat? Go ahead and answer these two. Remember, we got to pick one or the other. All right, so James, why answer the, why, why do the question? So you're, you're the guest, so you, you have to uh, answer first. <laughs> uh oh. All right. All right. Would you? I mean, these are. Not, I don't know how good these are today, but <laughs> would would you, would you rather win the lottery or live twice as long? I'd rather win the lottery. I could live twice as long, broke. You know, it'd be the same. <laughs> right. I would have to say lottery too, because I don't. I don't think I'll live twice that long. <laughs> My back already hurts. I don't want to deal with it longer. Right, right. Lottery, you don't have to worry about it. Because you know, it wouldn't the lottery and just invest some of that money and just never have to worry about it again. Yeah. Of course, you know, you sometimes you hear about people in the lottery and they just blow it in a couple of years and then, then they, they're broke again. He was like... Like that one dude, he hit that, what is it? I was reading about it the other day. He hit that million, that billion dollar Powerball and he just bought a Two hundred million dollar mansion in Los Angeles. Oh, see, that's that's crazy. Blew all, you know, blew a big chunk of it right there. Mm -hmm. Then, then you got to pay for the upkeep and the taxes and all that stuff. I don't think yeah. I don't think people think these things through when they start doing that kind of stuff. But I remember, I remember a, a Texas law commercial. Like it's been years and years years back. With this like really older guy, he's probably in his probably seventies. He won the like multi million dollars and. He shows a picture back to the lottery. It's like he's just still just sitting on his rocker on the front porch. You know, nothing changed. It's a, <laughs> I think that'd be kind of me. I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd pay off my debt, maybe buy some new cars, but I'd probably still live right here in the south I'm in. So, I know. All right, we're going to go to the next question. That is going to be, would you rather always say everything on your mind or never... Speak again. Oh, God! Both of them would suck. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know. I'd get to go with everything on my mind. I just probably get slapped a lot. We'll see. Uh, Mark says if he won the lottery, he's buying a four bedroom, three hundred thousand dollars house. No more, no less. Oh yeah, and of course. That last question, most everybody. I think every everybody did pick the lotto. Nobody picked uh, the other one. And so far, everybody's saying, what's on my mind? See, I, I'm going to go off with y'all so far that I'm going to say never speak again. Because I'm going to say, wait, if, if, I, if I spoke what's on my mind sometimes, I'd probably get slapped. I'd probably get fired. From <laughs> Just like, yep. At least if, if I can't speak ever again, at least I, mean, I can still write things down. Communicate that way, I guess. See me up at the farmer's market with the umbrella shoved up my, you know, <laughs> right? Uh. Yeah, yeah, right, Mark. Sure, sure. <laughs> uh, he's thinking. Why are you thinking of street tacos right now? E? Um, I don't know, but now I am too. Well, the only problem with street tacos is they're too small. You got That's these. Why you order like five of them? I know. I don't know. I'll eat, I'll eat five regular tacos. <laughs> I'll eat like 10 or 15 of the street tacos. <laughs> well, maybe not. Maybe 10, 10 street tacos. Ugh, good lord. All right, everybody, everybody said that said it is going with everything on their mind. So, all right, next question. Would you rather explore? This is a simple one. Would you rather explore space or the ocean? No, oh, space. Yeah. Easy. Yeah, I think I'll go with that one's my same as well. Floating I, around would be pretty cool. Well, yeah, and I'm always, I've always been fascinated with Star Trek, Star Wars, those kind of things. So, 
I never really got any uh, explorer uh, in the ocean type show, so. Now oh, we've got two oceans and one space so far. Hmm. E space. Yeah, space is much better. And, you know, with all those galaxies out there, you know, I always wonder, you know, what kind of life forms are out there. Oh, yeah. Cause I think it's, I think it's, I mean, I hate to say it, but I think it's kind of naive to think that we're the only ones out there with all the different galaxies and solar systems and stuff. So there's got to be some kind of life form out there somewhere. Mm-hmm. Marcus. Hopefully they look like Gamora from freaking... <laughs> Oh, uh, Star Wars, may the Sith be with you. No, may the Force, may the Force. We don't want Sith. The Sith are the bad guys. We don't want them. All right, we've got a few oceans and a few spaces in that one. Kind of partial in that one there. All right, next question. Would you rather be stuck on an island alone or with somebody who talks constantly? Oh, dear God. I'm already with somebody who talks constantly, so we can just go with that oh that's funny so i know <laughs> it's like i'm so used to it now i probably wouldn't even be able to sleep if i didn't hear it so <laughs> i know it, it's both of them sound bad and awful because you oh. get stuck alone you know it'd be like uh what's the name uh cast on uh, castaway you know going crazy making a a ball into a face and stuff trying to stay I sane hope, i just hope she don't watch this and hear that uh i, I doubt she's gonna watch that <laughs> but yeah i got I, i'm gonna go to my web as well because you know it's just at least get somebody's with you and have somebody to talk to whether you can get a word in edgewise or not so yes joshua wilson wilson as Mark says, someone who talks constantly, constantly but has to be a woman. <laughs> okay. Charlie says, depends on their voice. <laughs> James is going to have to sleep with one eye, one of his eyes open tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's why I was trying to see if she's in this room or not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good Lord. All right. Oh, just got your kid to sleep. Time to chill. That's right. Time to chill, y'all. I think we have one more question, don't we? Yes, we do. All right. Let's kind of step one, I think, is would you rather have Rambo or the Terminator on your side? Oh, the Terminator. That's easy. I know. I think it's the Terminator. Definitely. I'd go over robot over flesh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, he's going to say Rambo. Well, Rambo was pretty, pretty uh, awesome, though. He was, but not... Not compared to the Terminator. Yeah, true. Well, we got a few Rambo's, a few Terminators so far. And Russ wants to know, hey, Russ, what's going on? Appreciate you being here. And he says, Daffy Duck or Donald Duck? Oh, probably Daffy Duck. Donald annoyed me. <laughs> yes, that's for sure. He's he, definitely more of a, a nuisance, I should say. I'm gonna go with Daffy, 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 Daffy as well. So, but he's gonna say Donald, Donald Duck. Chris Press, Terminator X, the rest, and the rest of Public Enemy. Well, that was not the choice, for Chris. But yes, Terminator. Cookie Monster, Cookie Monster was not a choice, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good lord. Oh, now we got people trying to do their own things. Renner, Renner Stimpy. I, oh, I, didn't really, I didn't really watch that much. I didn't either. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't say that one, right, Josh, but I didn't really watch it that much to give you a good uh, yeah, decision I can't on that. Yeah, use on that one. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm lost on that one. Sorry, Joshua. All right, so if anybody has, if anybody has questions, uh, uh, any more questions, put a Q in the front. And, uh, you know, I, I'd like to, you know, I like what you've been doing, James. Ever, you know, since I first did my reviews on you, which is, we can link down in the description below if you want to check them out. And um, definitely made improvements. And I know when you first 
when I first found you in Remedy, you were you actually had a, a so called like nine to five job, and yeah. you don't have that anymore, right? No, this is your full time job, right? Yeah, I'm traveling everywhere. We just got back from like Florida State Fair. I've got lined up out of state starting stuff in Colorado because it's too hot in Texas to go outside. So I lined up some stuff in Colorado for July. Um, in August, I'll be going up to Sturgis in South Dakota. So it'll well, be fun. Yeah. Cause I know what, what you've been telling me lately is that, you know, with all this mo- running around and going here and there, you're, you're definitely hustling and trying to put the work in. So I think that's pretty awesome. And... I know we got a few more. Th- uh, would you? Would you? Well, not really. Would you rather? But this or that? How about Honda or Toyota? Uh, probably Toyota because they make better trucks. Mm. I know. Ne- yeah. Oh, God. Those I Honda Ridge lines are hideous. <laughs> gummy bears or gummy worms? Bears. I don't say neither. But I guess I have to choose, so I'll say I don't say bears too because they're a little smaller. Yeah. Cat to a dig or the cat? Well, I'm not too familiar with dig. Oh, dog. Dog. Oh, oh, yeah, dog. Dog or cat? Yeah, sorry. Tattoo a dog or cat? Hmm. I don't know. Probably a dog. Well, I got I both. Had too many. I don't have any dogs right now. My dog is staying with family members because she will kill all the cats. So, oh, what kind of dog yeah. is it? Uh, she's a white husky, uh, but she's got like a prey drive like no other. What kind of uh, what kind of cats do you have? Or do you just have one or two? Or uh, there's two of them. Uh, I don't know. They are strays. <laughs> I don't know what they are. Look at some strays, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I know it's like about six months ago now it's been I think we we found three kittens under a house and we took them in so and we already had two chihuahuas, so luckily they're they're getting all getting along all together, so it's like a hell so I guess they're all the same size, so <laughs> Yeah. But man, them cats can eat too. But I guess oh, they're young. Just- might just knock everything over. They just look at you and they're like, ah, fuck you. I mean, screw you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's kind of, cats do have that kind of tendency. So, yeah, I know it's, it's like they knock things over here, though. And trying to, trying to uh, uh, trim their claws, too, is a pain in the butt. So, Oh, I let the vet deal with that. I <laughs> I know the first few times we, the vet did it, but the, the last time we did it, we did it. And, man, you had to run by, by the back of the neck like, like the mom cat would do and try to calm them down a little bit. So that helped a little bit. But we think about getting one of those, uh, I've seen those little harnesses that you, like, hang hang the pet, that, like the, the legs <laughs> stick to. Yeah. Yeah, you seen those? I was thinking about getting one of those. Uh, cause you know, we, we turn the dog's nails too, we, but we just hold them. So I think it'd be easier to put them in that and, uh, it might be more calm that way too. So I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm not dealing with that scratchy. I just drop them off at the vet, pay 20 bucks and it gets done. Yeah. I know. It's, it's like too expensive for us. It's like, we have, we have like three cats, two dogs. So, but yeah, I think I think we might just have to do the vets of the cats, and we just keep on doing the dogs. So, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, but well, what was I going? What was going on before that? I was saying, talking about that. Um, <laughs> lost my train of thought. Um, I think I was talking about crap. Oh, but well, you know, he you on here and there, and and uh, oh yeah, about about the then and now. So. You know, you definitely, I think definitely, definitely improved on your labeling and, and, uh, you gotten more, uh, more sense out, which like I said, all the ones I smelled were, were good so far. Nothing, nothing I, that I had, that I got that I didn't, didn't really care for. So that's good. Of course, you know, except for that coffee when I smelled it, you're, you're, you're <laughs> at the market there, but <laughs> that's not your fault. It's just because I don't like care for coffee. So. Um, 
But yeah, you got you got new. You came out with a clone. You cut. You, you know. We let's go back to when you first started. When you first start out, what did you start out with? Just beard oils, balms, um, beard oils, balms, butters, and wash. And then like six of my first soaps I had. Um, yeah, that's about it. And the wash that I originally made was made with Castile soap, which I still carry. But now I offer, you know, more of a gentle cleaner too. So, All right. Yeah. So then they have the conditioner, the clones now, and more soaps, body wash. Yeah. The lotion. Yeah, the body wash. I tried the body wash. I, I think that's on the same. I did a review for the. I think I did the review for the the uh, beard wash, the conditioner, and body wash all in the same review. I think so. But yeah, I'm trying to decide um, if I want to do a few other soap. We were talking about making one out of instead of you know goat's milk or something, using rum and making one out of that. So yeah, I think that would be interesting for sure. Um, oh, it, mustache wax. Think about mustache wax. Yeah, I'm working one of those too. It's just taking me forever. We've and, got all the waxes and yeah. So what's your plan on uh, the hold value of the mustache wax? It's going to be hard. It's going to be like a glue. Well, oh, great. It's going to be something that holds up to Texas heat because it's, it's too much out there. I bought several that were supposed to be stronghold. I've tried making a couple that were, you know, stronghold recipes. And then you walk outside when it's 105 and it's just like, nope, it's done. So I'm going to try to fix that. Yeah, it's definitely good. Because I think if it can survive Texas heat, it should be able to survive anywhere else in this, in this uh, <laughs> country. So, Because it does get awfully hot. Well, it's, it's, I think it's, it's not really necessarily the hot. It's like the humidity, too. The humidity definitely yeah. affects that. So, so I, I know plenty of times oh. when I try to review mustache wax. Because, you know, I work in receiving. And when I'm inside the truck... It's even hotter inside the truck, so if it can survive that, then it's it's a good, very good high hold <laughs> mustache wax. <laughs> yeah, because a lot of times, me and I come out truck and it's already my stash is already starting starting to droop, so then I have to uh, reapply some a little bit to get it back up. But. So, so it'll take heat over the cold any day. I'm I'm gonna assume you haven't. I, I don't know. Is he from Texas? No, okay. <laughs> can't remember. I'm sorry. Yeah, I can't remember where you are from. I, I know I've sent you stuff in the mail, but I just don't remember what what uh, state you're from. Um, no, definitely he's more of a colder, a colder area. What's more, oh, more somewhere? Yeah. Maryland. Yes. Oh yeah, Maryland. That's why. <laughs> yeah. Well, come down to Texas, E. We'll give you all the heat you want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and human. So I know it definitely gets humid here in Dallas area. And of course down of course down by the uh, ocean as well too. For sure. Alright. Let's see. If I missed anything in the chat real quick. Alright, no questions. Alright. Oh yeah, they're talking about cats. You get, like they're talking about spraying the cats with the uh, a water bottle. I I got that too, do you? That's, that's a really good thing with the, getting the mischief something you really want to do. I, like, uh, like after we cook dinner or something like that, we have to, you know, have to cover the food so they don't get into it. Then, but they, they like to get, get on the uh, counter to, to, to find, you know, find any residue that we have left. But then we use a little spray bomb, just shoot a little stream at them, and they jump right back down. So they're, they're doing, it, they're doing it less and less. So I think that's actually working uh, as a training device. Oh, mine just do it and then watch for the bottle. And then if they see the bottle, they run off, but they still come back as soon as you put it down. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah, when you're not there, they're going to do whatever they want to anyway. They don't care. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mark says North Texas is more like a dry heat compared to New York and Florida. Well, maybe, I don't know, Mark. I mean, it depends on what time of year, I guess. I lived down in Corpus for a while and that was bad. Uh, but. It's it gets just as humid up here sometimes. Yeah, for sure. Hey James, welcome in. Appreciate 
talking to another James from Rugged History Beard Cuff. So, if you haven't uh, seen his products, uh, you can go check him out. Remember, we got Kobe DG10, save yourself 10%. So, if you haven't checked out this company, I know a lot of y'all have seen this pretty good sense y'all might like. So, remember, it's um, unrefined. So, let's see. I don't know if y'all be able to see this on the video. Let's see. So it does have. I mean, it's a little. little it was a. Too. Yeah, it was a lot darker, but I had to switch my pumpkin seed oil provide or supplier. They jacked up their prices, so it made the oil a little bit lighter, which is good too. Yeah, I think I still have an older bottle here from. Yeah, so here's the older stuff. So you can tell it's a little, a little bit darker. So yeah. Actually, I actually just recently went through and uh, threw away a lot of stuff. That's like most of it's like over two years old. Man, that's it's like a two big bags of oils and butters. A lot of it, the scent has just gone away and about to turn. So, but even even some of the stuff that's turned, like uh, some stuff has already turned. But I just kept it because I like the bottles. So, but <laughs> but yeah, that's what you know. Reviewers, yes, reviewers, you know, we have a lot, a lot of products, and of course, there's a lot of collectors out there too that just like to um, collect cool stuff, and and of course, the companies they like and support them too. So, oh, yeah, I, mean, I want to show y'all something real quick. Uh, I don't know if y'all saw my postings on uh, Instagram about my caddies, but I did add these little leather straps on here. On, on, on one yeah, of those them. are. Those are those are cool. Yeah, I thought they were cool. So remember, go check it out. My Instagram post if you want one. He says he's taken I use oils only as a body lotion and has helped me reduce my recollection. Well, yes, that's definitely a good idea. Oils, um, as well as butter, especially on uh, drier uh, areas of the body. So. I actually had this chick that um, bought six butters for me at the stock show, Fort Worth stock show, because she can't use lotion. So she asked to try some beard butter on her hands, and it didn't make her hands burn. So she bought a whole bunch of those. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, no, if because no, these beard products are we all we make them out of natural products, and the ladies like to buy this processed, I call it processed stuff from you know this other company, so. If we can, I don't know about, if you, I know some, uh, in the past some companies have tried to do a ladies line. It's pretty much the same product, just kind of geared to the ladies. But really, it's gonna get the, us guys need to get word of mouth to your ladies or your other half, you know, whatever it may be. So, you know, get them using your beard butters. You know, there's a lot of scents out there that are, you know, not, not as manly, you know, they're, you know, neutral scent i guess you could say and some are some are even more feminine scent so you know pick up your better half some stuff too yeah i'm gonna drop some more i've had so many girls stop by the booths at these events and they're like can you make some girls sell soaps and i'm like all right but i've got the lavender and all that kind of stuff but you know everybody sells rose you know what i mean stuff like that i'm not trying to get into all that yeah and, uh, well, I mean, a lot of the lavender stuff, you know, even guys like to use that too to help calm them down, relax them, you know. For, for yeah. Because so. it's, good, it's good to relax for relaxing scents. So. Yeah, I'm working on a, that's going to be my next one. I'm trying to blend a vanilla lavender with like a, a citrus, some citrus notes in there. That'd be interesting. Did I, I showed you the Zanat the other day, right? With the uh, vanilla and citrus. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be similar to that, but uh, it's going to have a lavender note in there. That'd be, I think that'd probably work out pretty good, I think. And he, he says he refuses to have more than 60 bottles. <laughs> well, I know, 60 is still a lot. And he, said, well, he says he has about 44 bottles now. Mark says, E, that's still four years of oils. <laughs> that's a good amount of oils. Uh, I probably have I probably have more than that still left 
we went through all the stuff up through that. So, but yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm gonna definitely start using the product to uh, more things with my beard, I guess. So, or you can just give them to gotta give them to people at work <laughs> that don't have beards. You know, they, you know, people. You know, other people like to use use kind of you know oils and things like that for their body. Or even you know, women like Ellie was in here earlier. I don't know if she's still in here, but you know, she uses. Cubby's beard oils in her hair too, so. So I think a lot of girls, a lot of ladies like to do it, especially the uh, uh, females that are with the uh, bearded community uh, here, so. Nicholas, let's see. Oh, real quick. Oh, Travis had almost had, had most was 336 bottles. Wow. So, Dagan, do you think you could do a coffee mug circle with the caddy so you can either use it for a butter or a mug well that'd be a i'm not sure i think it would be a depends on how big the coffee mugs some coffee mugs are bigger some coffee mugs are smaller but i could probably make a thing a little bit bigger but hey we can if you want to read dm me offline about that we can talk a little more about that oh yeah so she's cool yep all right. All right. Yeah. So James, uh, I can't wait to see. You. I mean, I ho I'm hoping for you get that Sturgis, and sounds like you're uh, doing pretty good things, and I think you're gonna be a uh, pretty successful. So yeah, we're building a shop out at Texas Renaissance Festival. We've got one more year. This year we can use our tent. Next year we're building a full scale shop. So that'll be fun. Yeah. I think so so yeah so it's like a yeah i mean that's gonna be a little more overhead but i think uh you know as long as you got the traffic you'll be doing good so yeah for sure all right oh man all right so it's getting uh getting to the hour mark so you know what i'm gonna do how about this i'm gonna do a giveaway for you You don't mind if I do a giveaway? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. All right, so uh, guys, I'm, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to do a giveaway for oil, oil of choice from Rugged History. So all you have to do is whoever wins will have to go to the website, pick the scent they want, and then DM me your government name and address, and... I will make that and uh, send it out to you. And the, yeah, before we go to the giveaway screen, uh, we have 11 watching right now. So yeah, before we go to uh, the giveaway screen, like I said, Beard Vado has it only entered once, but here you're gonna hear the total uh, thing from Beard Vado here. Only enter once, you might get prioritized. Enter twice and get disqualified. And don't cry if you get prioritized. That's right, don't cry if you get prioritized. So. So we go to the giveaway screen, you'll see the number range. And if nobody gets that number, uh, we're just going to spin again. We'll take that number out and just spin again. So yeah, here we go. So as you can see, the number range is one through nine. We're getting only here once. And good luck to the future winner. Oh my gosh, three people have picked the same number. <laughs> we might be rolling again with that. Two other people picked the same number. Ooh. What you got? What is everybody drinking too? Put in the chat too. After you, after you put your numbers in. I've been drinking water today. I think we might have to roll again. One, two, three, four. All right, we've got 10 people. People put it in the thing. Give me a few more seconds. And we're going to spin this thing and see who uh, wins or don't win. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So a lot of people drink water. Richard got red wine. Marsh got Hennessy. Oh my gosh. No, Travis, you can't change. LOL. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go ahead and spin. And, and remember again, if nobody hits the winning number, I'm just going to take that out and spin again until somebody does. So here we go.
Hopefully it lands on something that somebody picks. Number six. Oh my gosh, yes. Somebody got a six. And that's going to be Nicholas. Nicholas is six on my screen. So Nicholas, I got your address. So you just have to send me, go to this website, DM me what scent you want. And I'll get that out to you, Nicholas. So congratulations. We some fireworks there. All right. It's <laughs> awesome. Oh, we some, how about some cheering, too? Yay. <laughs> yep, everybody saying congratulations to Nick. So, yeah, pretty awesome. Thank you, uh, uh, Nicholas, for winning that. <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking him for winning. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, and unless everybody has any last questions, put them in the chat real quick while we're wrap, wrapping up. And, uh, James, just want to say, uh, appreciate you coming on. Had an awesome time. and hope everybody got to know a little bit more about your website and your stuff. And yeah, I appreciate guys, it. Yeah, guys, go check them out. See if there's anything you can't live without. Remember, use that code BGG10. Save yourself 10%. And like I said, it's awesome stuff. If you haven't seen my reviews, you can go back and uh, look at those. I got them linked in the description below. If you can go check them out. So, uh, yeah, so if there's, do you want to say anything, last thing, anything, James? Not that I can think of. I mean, I've got a bunch of discount zones on there. He just gave you one, but yeah. If you are local, hit me up, and I'm going to have a local pickup option soon, too. Cool. Yeah. Oh, and Amazon yeah. Prime will be out. Um, I'm working on a bunch of trademarks on scent names at the moment, but once I have all my scent names trademarked, I'm going to launch them on Amazon. That'd be, yeah, that'd be cool. I almost forgot about that. that you mentioned that too. Yeah. So, yeah. That's awesome. Little... All right. So, guys, uh, appreciate everybody coming in, stopping by, and again, congratulations, Nicholas. Uh, James, if you can hang on just a little bit, and I'll see everybody next time, y'all. Have a good night.